Hi, kids. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I'm good too. How are you, Teacher Mackenzie? I'm doing really great. I'm sure you know what I'm going to ask you next, right? Yes, you're going to ask Have you kids been doing your 555, which is five minutes of reading the Bible, five minutes of prayer, and lastly, five minutes of listening to God? <laughs> that would have been the third question, Zara. I was going to ask how your weekend was. My weekend was so great, Teacher Mackenzie. We went to my cousin Chris's house for dinner, and we had so much fun. Wow, Kai. It sure sounds like you enjoyed yourself. I sure did. I always have the best time when I visit my cousin, Chris Jr. My mom says myself and Chris have known each other since we were babies. We are really more than just cousins. We are best buddies. While Chris and I play all sorts of games, my mom and dad catch up with Aunt Claire and Uncle Chris. Wow, it sounds like you really like Chris a lot. Yep, we are family. Speaking of family, I am reminded of another type of family. There are types of families? Yes, there are. What Kai has just explained to us is his physical family. But there is another family that we have and should be a part of as well. We call this our spiritual family. Hmm. For example, Zara, your mum is your physical family. And for you, Kai, your grandma, grandpa, your brother, and your cousin Chris are your physical family. I really love my physical family. But now I want to know who my spiritual family is. Your spiritual family is the church, your church community that you are part of. These are the people who you go to church with, pray with, and worship God with. We sometimes think the church is a building, but the building is just the place where the church meets. The church is actually the people inside the building, and these people make up the family of God. I always thought the church was just the building. I never thought about the church being the people inside the building. Yes, God created the church to be a family and not a building. God loves family, and that is why he created you and me, so he could have a big family to have relationship with and to love. He knows how important family is for us, so he gave us a physical family, and when we accept Jesus, he wants us to be in a spiritual family too. Wow! God must really love us if he gives us two families. That is very true, Zara. Do you know when the church started? Hasn't the church just always been there? <laughs> no, Kai. Jesus had to come and die for us and rise again to save us from our sins before we could be put into a spiritual family. Ah, that makes sense. Because before Jesus came to die for our sins, our spirits were dead, and we couldn't have a relationship with God. But after Jesus died for us and we made the choice to accept him, our sins were forgiven, our spirits were made alive, and we were then able to have a relationship with God. Yes, very good, kids. After Jesus died and rose again, he spent another 40 days on earth before leaving earth to go up to heaven to be with God the Father. But although he left, he never left us alone. He promised that when he left to be with the Father, he would send the Holy Spirit to be with us and to help us. And he told his disciples and followers that when the Holy Spirit came, they would start the church through the Holy Spirit. So we followers of Christ could be part of a spiritual family too. Because just like we need a physical family to help take care of us and our physical needs, we need a spiritual family to help take care of our spiritual needs. 
Wow, this is so exciting! So because Jesus sent the Holy Spirit, the church was born. And that means I have two families! Yes, correct, Zara. You have two families. The church started after Jesus left, and the Holy Spirit came down to earth. That is amazing! So, if I understand properly, God came as the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is still God. Like the orange example. Yes, that is correct, Kai. Well done. Someone has been listening. It is important that the church preaches the word of God, which is found in the Bible, but with the power of the Holy Spirit. When we meet again, I will teach you a bit more about the Holy Spirit. But today, I want us to talk about our spiritual family, the church, in more detail. I sometimes don't feel like going to church. I don't know why we can't just pray at home with my parents and the rest of the family. It will be so much easier. It takes time to get ready and dressed and drive to church. I understand, Kai, but remember when you accepted Jesus Christ? Yes, I do. You also said that you want to follow Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Yes, I did say that, and I meant it. Following Jesus and having a relationship with God means we cannot choose which part of following God's plan we want to follow and which we do not want to follow. We cannot obey God by only doing the things we feel like doing. I am sure your parents sometimes want you to do things you don't feel like doing either, but you still have to obey them. It's exactly the same with God. Yeah, that's true. I really don't feel like doing some of the things my mom asked me to do, but she says it's for my own good and I do them. Your mom is right, Zara. Church should not be treated like a chore, because being part of a church will help you grow your spirit man. Remember that we said in our 555 session that we feed our spirit with the Word of God? The Word of God is also preached at church to help us learn and grow more. And besides that, having a spiritual family around us helps us grow spiritually in many ways. Let's recap what we have learned so far. I want you to remember these three things. The church is not a building. You have two families a physical and spiritual family. Church is part of God's plan for your life and we need to obey him in all things, even in going to church. It's for our own good and benefit. Got it? Got it! Got it! I really like the fact that I have more than one family. It shows me how much God loves me by giving me another family that will help me grow. That is so true, Zara. God loves us so much that he gives us two families to be a part of. Well, that is all for us today, kids. You did so well. Have a great day ahead and really looking forward to our next session.